Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moon Dancer. How you guys doing? In this episode, I actually wanted to talk about coming out as a witch, kind of, sort of, kind of what this is about. Choosing this lifestyle can be challenging because Whereas there's no more witch trials, it's also still frowned upon. That also depends on where you live, you know, your particular area because some places, you know, may be more accepting whereas others, you know, not so much. So. We're going to kind of get into that, but before I do that, I actually kind of want to talk about the person you are now that you're a witch. Um, and you can do this as, a, as an exercise in your book of shadows or just in your journal, but ask yourself, who was I before I was a witch? How did I treat people? Um, if you do choose to do this as an exercise, like you can make a list of, of certain people, you know, like, uh, like your parents or your, your friends, your family, brothers, sisters, you know, make a list of them and then kind of put next to them. How did I treat each one of these individuals before I became a witch? And how do I treat them now? Kind of ask yourself those things. It's kind of a kind of a reflection type thing. Like some different types of things that you can also ask yourself is what do you want? Like do you have a specific goal or a desire now that you are a witch and this could really be anything and then ask yourself what what would I get out of it what would how would it make me better and then ask yourself that every day for seven days and see how your answer changes they, um, by the seventh day, you should have a pretty good idea on what it is that you want to change about yourself or what, what you want to accomplish. Just those kinds of things. It, it's just a small exercise, kind of a self-reflection thing, so, <laughs> but now getting to the doubters and the witch haters, you know, whatever you want to call them. In those cases, you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. You know, like um, for you young ones that are still in school, 
and say your teacher or your classmates, you know, start saying stuff, ask yourself, is it worth it to you to argue the point? I'm by all means, I'm not saying getting into a fight because clearly that's probably not smart. So when I say battle, I mean like I don't mean like a physical, you know, beat each other up. I mean it's more of a standing up for yourself, standing up for your rights type thing. And I actually have a Q&A list and I've got I got it out of this awesome freaking book and especially for you beginners if you have not read this how to become a witch it's a really good book I'm telling you and to help educate the public and understand who we are I think is important and you also don't want to be caught off guard you know when someone comes up and asks you something about your religion you're gonna to want to know how to answer it you know you're not gonna to want to be fumbling over your words and be unsure of yourself because that's I mean that's never good so in this book is actually a list of Q&A's for if you ever get into one of those situations which I really thought was amazing because Everybody should know this. Everybody should be be prepared for situations like this. So here's the Q&A. The first one, is that a star of David? I didn't know you were Jewish. Okay, so for all those that like to wear the pentagram jewelry, the correct response would be, no, it's not, and I'm not. It's a pentagram, an ancient symbol of protection and balance. Very simple, non-argutive response to that question. Okay. I thought a pentagram was a symbol of devil worship. The answer. The upside down pentagram has been used that way, like an upside down crucifix has too. But, but this one is right side up. For me, it's a symbol of Wicca. It's a reasonable response. So what is Wicca? Wicca is based on the ancient religions of Europe, mostly. It's a religion that honors the earth as sacred and we celebrate nature in the seasons of the year. Well, there you go. So Wicca is actually a religion? Yes. It's a real religion recognized by the federal government, go, excuse me, recognized by the federal government and everything. Do you believe in God? I do believe in God, but also in the equal feminine energy in the universe that we call the goddess. But there's just one God. Maybe so. But the divine has both masculine and feminine sides, and we often think of them as two divine persons, God and Goddess. So you don't believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he was, I believe he was a very loving and wise teacher, but I don't worship him. Well, do you believe in evil or the devil? I believe that people can do evil things, but I don't believe in an all-evil entity. So you don't follow the Ten Commandments. In general, I have no problem with the Ten Commandments, but I follow something called the Wiccan Read. Part of it is that I should harm no one and do good to others because whatever I put out into the world comes back to me. What do you mean? comes back to you. You know what goes around comes around or what you sow sh so shall you reap. If you do something good for someone they then you will receive more good things back. Likewise if you do harm to someone bad stuff will happen to you. So I try so I try not to harm other people. 
Do you go to church services like we do? We celebrate at a seasonal we we celebrate at seasonal holy days and the phases of the moon. The phases of the moon, that sounds like witchcraft. That's another name for it, though it's nothing like movie witchcraft or fantasy books. So you do magic, like put spells on people and stuff. No. As I said, I expect everything I do to come back to me, so why would I put a spell on anyone? Besides, that would be interfering with their free will, and that's not right. Could you show me some magic right now? Just one trick. Our magic isn't like stage tricks. It's serious stuff, more like prayer. And we don't perform magic on demand, but if you want to learn more about it, I can recommend a good book. So that right there is just some of the common questions that you might get asked by, well, anybody. And those are just some non-confrontational <laughs> answers to those questions. And if you are, are ever asked, Wicca is a recognized religion by the United States. For those of you outside of the United States, I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm not familiar with, I guess your government. I, I don't really know how else to say that. But I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that. So, I just recommend you do your research, find out for sure before you get yourself in any kind of st sticky situation that you do not want in. And, and you know, it kind of also goes back to pick and choose your battles, that your own battles, ba battles that you feel are right, that you have a right to stand your ground. Um, let me, like, for example, you know, if, if you're at the bar and you're just, you know, just kicking it, whatever, and then some dumbass drunk comes up to you and says, hey, witch, can you levitate me? You know, that is clearly one of those thing, situations. Just ignore his drunk ass and move on because... That would definitely not be a battle worth choosing, worth getting into a fight over, or even worse, get the police in the freaking situation because he's just drunk. He's going to crash, he's going to sleep it off, and he probably ain't even going to remember asking you. So, that's just one of those, yeah, <laughs> that's one of those, yeah, just walk away from that one. No need to get into no ridiculous confrontation over that. Uh, another thing I actually wanted to read this to you guys I thought this was um, really awesome provided that I can find it there it is it's, it goes into why or why witchcraft called to you and I thought it was really pretty so I wanted to read this to you. What is it about witchcraft that calls to you? Is there something that whispers in your blood, some past life and heritage or ancestral voice that calls you back to the old ways when we were one with earth, blood kin to every creature that runs or flies or swims? Is it the goddess and knowing that a woman is much more than just a little sex kitten. A mighty affirmation that female is sacred, that the mysteries and body knowing and birthing, creating, nurturing, sustaining, protecting ways of women are the prime and essential core of life, that you girl are good. Is it the deep certainty that God, the male part of the divine is much much more than either a nice man in a white robe or an evil-tempered tyrant in the sky. That God is and must be the quickening, bright, joyful dancer at the gates of dawn, 
a loving father and bold explorer and wise healer in a thousand other ways for men to be. Is it simply this that sacredness and the heart of creation are in the forest and seas and mountains, that nature is holy everywhere and always, and the books and temples and rules of men are a pale shadow of the power and grace of the earth? Or is it still deeper, a sense that the world we see is only a fragment of all that is, that there are realms and realities beyond this one, and the world of spirit or the astral planes and dimensions half seen by mystics and magicians that you must explore. You can still walk away from witchcraft. There are many excellent spiritual paths and ways of life that can help you grow, enjoy life, and progress toward your destiny. You might be very happy giving your heart to one of the mainstream faiths or casting aside religion and turning to rational humanist values or seeking contentment in your family and career, looking no farther than the good things immediately in front of you. If not, if the moonlight calls to you and you can hear the pan pipes and see the flames of the Sabbath bonfire dancing, we'll be waiting in the forest in a circle near the old oak tree. I thought that was that, especially that last part, so amazing like I honestly I started tearing up when I read that like wow like that last part it hit me so much and yeah like it just hit me on a spiritual and emotional level and like the tears just you know just start creeping out of my little face but yeah this is an amazing book again this is how to become a witch by amber k and asriel rnk that's the book that i learned from this is a book that got me started so i recommend it to beginners i recommend it to even witches that have been witches for 20 plus years because it's a good read it's got awesome things in it I can't say too much about it. You'll know why later. But, so yeah, we kind of touched on some pretty serious topics. But I think that they were really important, super important topics, because we, we have to know how to talk to the public and we have to be prepared for when we get questioned about our choice of faith because nobody wants to be fumbling around their words and stuttering and freaking out you know educate yourself you know and if you're a, if you're still in the broom closet and nobody knows about you and you would rather know as much as you possibly can before coming out then that's a super idea because at least you know you're gonna be well educated and prepared and know what to say when you're confronted by you know somebody on the street and you know sometimes you'll have people come up to you that are legitimately just curious you know like oh hey like do you can you tell me a little more about this? I'm actually really interested. But keep in mind, there are haters, too. I hate to even, like, say it like that. But there are. So, be careful. Be prepared. But don't be stupid about it. You know, there's no need to hurt anybody or get hurt. So, use your thinking caps. Because... Everybody has one up there somewhere. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry if it was just a little boring. <laughs> but to me, that was a like need-to-know topic, subject. So 
I hope to see you guys next time. Um, be sure to like and comment this video or comment on this video. Um, I've also thought about getting into some magical gaming, I guess you could call it. Um, playing like video games and stuff with magic in it that kind of thing if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that leave comments down below and let me know so I know if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down so I'll see you guys next time and then have a blessed day and don't forget to dance under the moon Black hats and voodoo dolls I've got a premonition That girl's gonna make me fall